Hello, my name is Keith Barker, and on behalf of the entire CBT Nuggets family, I'd like to welcome you to CCNA Wireless. Let's begin. The first question right off the bat is this, who exactly is this series for? And to answer that, I'd like to have you answer the following questions. Are you interested in getting the knowledge and skills that you need to configure or implement or support a wireless local area network? Now, if your answer to any one of those was yes, I either need or want to have those skills, then you, my friend, are exactly the person that we created this series for. Having the skills and investing the time to improve those skills in wireless local area networking has lots of benefits. For example, let's say the network is having some kind of a disruption of service. So they call you. Now you might be saying, well, Keith, that's not a real big benefit. I don't want them to call me when there's a problem. But let's say that's your responsibility. And when they do call you, because you understand the components and how they work, you can isolate it. Is it the AAA server not talking to the controller? Is it an issue with the CAPWAP tunnel between the access points and the controller? Is it the client, for example, Bob, whose wireless profile is doing the wrong type of authentication as he's trying to connect to the wireless network? And you see, because you'll understand those components and how they interact with each other, your value to the company and to the customers you serve will go up. In addition to improving your skills and getting better and better at wireless local area networks, Cisco also has a certification that if you want to pursue, this series can help you with that as well. And here's my thinking on that. As you and I go through this series together, nugget by nugget, we're going to learn how to implement, configure, and troubleshoot a wireless network. And as a byproduct, if we choose to go take a certification exam to validate our knowledge with a certification of CCNA wireless, following your name that can easily be a byproduct of this training as well because although I focused on practical application for wireless local area networks in this series I also paid attention to the Cisco published official blueprint for their CCNA wireless to make sure that you're gonna be prepared for that as well if you are pursuing CCNA wireless the certification exam is 640 dash 722 the other question I quite often get regarding this CCNA certification in wireless is, are there any prerequisites? And the answer is yes. You do have to pay for an exam with Cisco or through one of their testing centers. You also have to have previously passed the ICD-1 slash CCENT certification exam. So if you have a CCNA in routing and switching, you've already met that obligation. So it's an ICD-1 slash CCENT or higher. So CCNA routing and switching would qualify as with the CCENT. And then it's simply one more exam, this one right here, that takes you to CCNA Wireless as well. And let me share with you something. As more and more companies are depending on and implementing more wireless, a CCNA Wireless certification to add on to your other certifications, and not just so you can put on your business card, but because you'll have the skills associated with that certification as well. There are some very specific things I'd like to ask you to do so you can get the most out of the series. Number one is to go ahead and watch the videos. Take the time, schedule some time so you can watch these videos. And here's what I found out. If you, like me, enjoy having a tour guide that's going to walk you through logically, step by step, you are going to love this video. And I personally would like to volunteer. My hand is up. I would like to volunteer to be your personal tour guide as we go through this together one-on-one. -on -one. The second thing I'd like you to do, I'd like you to practice. Now you might be saying, well, Keith, I don't have access to a wireless LAN controller and access points and everything else. The reality is though, it's very likely you do have some access to some wireless devices. For example, the computer you're sitting at, maybe a home wireless network that you have. A lot of the concepts regarding wireless can be validated and tested using access to things that you already have. And as we go through it together, I'll share some of the tools I'm using, third-party tools, to help validate the networks that are currently in place. Now, for those of you that have a virtual playground, for example, perhaps you have access to an ESX server, which, by the way, ESX is free. So it doesn't cost money for licensing of ESX. Cisco has a virtual wireless LAN controller that you can download as an evaluation. So that means we don't even need to have a physical controller to start practicing with working with one. So I would encourage you to practice along in the journey. The third step is I'd like you to share what you know with others. And let me clarify that a little bit. It just sounded like I said, please share these videos with others. Having a subscription to the full IT library is very affordable for most people. So I strongly encourage anybody who wants to become really good at technology 
go ahead and invest in a subscription that gives you access to the full IT library. And regarding sharing, what I'd like you to do is share your knowledge with others. For example, if you have a coworker that's wondering about 802.11a versus b versus g versus n, take a minute and explain to them how that works or what the benefit of using something like 802.11i is and what that's all about. Or for example, what the heck is CAPWAP, which along with VLAN is one of my top 10 favorite words in networking, CAPWAP. So share what you know and communicate it to others. That'll benefit two people. It'll benefit you because it'll reinforce the concepts in your mind and it will help the other person that you're sharing with. Because as the tide rises, all boats rise, including yourself. And the last step I'd like you to do in every single video, and this will be number four on our list, is simply to have a boatload of fun. It's been scientifically proven that if you're enjoying it, which by the way, I had a great time in these videos creating them with the anticipation that you and I would be going through them together. So by realizing that we are going to have fun in each and every video together, your retention will improve, the learning process will be quicker, and at the end of the day, having fun is a lot better than not having fun. One of the challenges people come across when they learn new technologies is all the brand new words and terms, a brand new vocabulary. So what I want to do is I'm going to keep this intro very short because I want you and I to jump in the very next video, which is the terms and vocabulary in this wonderful world of wireless. So I hope this introduction has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing and look forward to seeing you in the very next video.